Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. My name is Rachel O'Neill, and today we will be talking about Goffman's front stage and backstage and how it present how we present ourselves through it. And for my example, I am using the show The Circle. I'm not sure if anybody has heard of it. The Circle is a social media game show on Netflix. And it's about this group of people who comes in. They can either be themselves, a different version of themselves, or a catfish. And I'm going to show you how Goffman Siri really connects between... Like, the front stage and backstage connect between the circle. So, front stage is basically when you are presenting yourself in a social situation. So, in the circle, that would be when they are presenting themselves in the group chat or a chat with one or multiple players. And backstage is when we're in our private life, in our private area. There's not a lot of people that know, like what we really do behind closed doors and that's the way it should be but as as we know social media kind of comes in and comes into that area and really puts a bear like really combines the two because you're in your backstage at your house and you post a picture with your friends or something or you post a picture doing something to put up a front to make you look good for social media which basically that's what they're trying to do in this game. They're trying to change themselves and manipulate people to get to the top. Because the the game the goal of the show is to win a hundred thousand dollars and be the last one standing. But like between season one and season two, there was a lot of people that were themselves. There was nine total people that were themselves and three people who were themselves. Out of those nine, there was three people that were themselves but single. And there was one who presented herself as a skinnier version of herself. Like I said, you could do that if you wanted. But then she revealed who she really is. And it seemed like there was a lot less drama this season. And she just kind of presented herself and the circle accepted her for who she is. But there was three catfish, and it seemed like they didn't get too far in the season. They did they did their best to play the game and things like that, but not really. <laughs> so in season two of The Circle, there are five catfish so far. We don't know if there's going to be more because it's a weekly based episode. Like there's weekly episodes. And there's a lot less people trying to be themselves, but there is a few that are being themselves, which I always like to see somebody genuine come through and try and win the game like in season one, like Joey did. But um, I'm really like looking forward to seeing who who wins and who loses. I think that this is a great example of how people present themselves and how front stage and backstage really do come into real life because they, they're doing what they want. For example, in season two, there's this one guy who does a lot of crafts in his room. And he's an older older guy, but he's playing a catfish. So, like, when he presents himself in social situations, he's trying to be young and relatable. And putting up on putting um, an act on everything. I think it's crazy how people do that because I see it as... If I was on that show, like, I would want to be myself. I would want to be genuine, unique, and me. So, I guess people are just trying to win the game and push on. And it's crazy to see how many people on the show are like, oh, that's definitely a catfish. Oh, they're definitely not a catfish. So, I think it's really interesting to see what's going to happen. And hopefully, if you guys aren't watching it already... Start watching it. It's a great show. I recommend. Thanks for joining me for the vlog with Rachel about Goffman's front stage and backstage and the circle. Hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye.